Hey, Internet. TJ here. Skull, whatever, I don't care what you call me. Anyway, I'm here. I know a lot of people have seen the new Armitan Rooster come out, and it is titanium, the front cage instead of aluminum. People have been asking, can you color it? There is obviously painting, but people were heat treating. Now, according to Armitan, heat treating will void the warranty. Anodizing, however, with voltage will not. So, I'm going to go over a quick down and dirty, easy way that you can go ahead and most of the stuff you should hopefully have in your garage or house anyway. You just might have to get the, the, the borax. Easy way to do it. I'll show you how to do it here. We'll go over some quick little down and dirty and how it works and how to do it safely without burning your house down. Okay, so as you can see, here's the original cage. Comes really nice, polished. Really clean, even when they're in their little baggies. Okay, and then here is my anodized version. Now, it's kind of hard to see in person. Hopefully this is coming out good, but it's like a, a baby blue, which was kind of what I was shooting for. You know, I didn't want it to be like blue in your face or purple, blurple, um, any color like that. And all I used was Borax. This is like three bucks for this giant box I'm never going to use. Um, Walmart, just detergent aisle or in the um, laundry detergent. It's a soap booster. Um, you'd need tin foil. There's a thousand different ways to do this. You can search it online yourself. I use tin foil. A deep Tupperware. I'll show you why this is important later. Wires. I have some already with little uh, clippy leads on it. Um, you can use lipos. You can use anything you want to get voltage. Uh, there's 9 volt batteries you can use. People will, you know, put them positive negative, positive negative, chain them together to get to the correct voltage because what happens is when you apply X amount of voltage to the part in your solution that will be in here, it's going to change color. Now I'm going to flash that color chart down below. And you can see the different voltage applied is how you get your color. It's not exactly specific, so, it, you know, it can vary a little bit depending on your solution, possibly. I don't know the exact science, but I know I applied X amount of voltage. I got an X color that was really close to the chart. So, what we're going to do, I'm using some old LiPo. So, if they burst in the flames on camera, it's going to look awesome, and I'm going to have to run out my garage. Um, but, I've already done this once. I feel confident you're running this basically in parallel. Each one of these is at storage voltage. I already checked them. They're at 15 volts DC a pop. So, link them all up, and we'll get going. So, first, your solution. Okay, this is where your foil comes in. You're basically making a bowl to hold your water. And this is going to be where you're going to hook the negative side of the battery. So you want to make this nice and tight and deep. Over. Okay. Now I like to leave a little harder tab on one end because we're going to connect the negative lead to it. So now it's nice and deep. Because what we're going to be doing is dipping the part into it. And the more water, the more area you have to dip this into without contacting the sides. Because if you contact the sides, you're going to create a short. And depending on your voltage, it's going to be a really little spark or a big spark. Because you look at the chart, you can go all up to 120 volts DC if you really wanted to. I wouldn't, but you can. So here's that. Okay. Then to make your solution simple. Borax. Okay. We're going to put that in here. You can put the water in first, whatever you want to do. I don't care. But the water can only absorb so much of the, so the soap. So I just pour a little bit in. Okay. That shows up. The finest of public spring water. You can use Perrier, whatever you decide. Filler up. Ooh. 
Milky, it's gonna settle, okay? But the water can only take so much of this anyway. So set that aside for the moment, okay? This is a scary part. Electricity can be good or bad. Be careful. I'm putting rubber gloves on, not because of electricity, but because this is the next step. I'll take one of those We're gonna clean your part. It already comes polished nice. It's not greasy or anything like that. It's, you know, it's shiny and polished, so it will leave oil marks from your skin. So I'm gonna use isopropyl alcohol. I got this at Walmart as well. 91%, you can also use 70%, whatever. It's just gotta be clean. And then after you clean it, don't touch it again because your fingers contain oil. Pick it up. A little squirty squirt. We're going to polish it. And if you Alcohol flashes off pretty quick, so give it a few minutes if you are concerned. But you can pretty much watch it just flash off. Okay, so now we're all clean. We don't have any smudges, anything like that. I see some fuzz though for my towel. Wipe that off. Oh yeah. Okay. So we're gonna set that aside to dry. So with the wiring, we're running in parallel. So we're going to go, I'm sorry, series. So we're going from negative to positive, negative to positive across the line. So I'm gonna start small and we're gonna do a little change and then we're gonna bump up the voltage to see what happens. So I'm gonna take my negative, okay? And I'm going to connect it to the tin foil, okay? So now you gotta remember, this is gonna be the negative of the cycle. So once you have this all energized, you do not wanna touch the foil with the positive or it'll cause a short. So I'm gonna go for the first one, okay? And since we're doing just one at the moment, we'll go ahead and we'll just so that 15 volts DC. I haven't done it with just one battery yet, so we'll see what happens. This might be cool, this might not be. So, we have our solution here. We have our battery here. Okay, I'll zoom in in a second. Last part of the puzzle is a wire, a hook, something you feel confident that will hold the wire. I have just a regular, regular wire soldered in, so it's a little bit stiffer. And what I'm gonna do is when I connect the positive to it, it's gonna be clipped in here, okay? I'll take one that's already done. This isn't hooked up, by the way. I'm gonna pick the, a hole in the bottom just because it's the bottom. Basically hang it off of it. Make sure you feel safe that it's not gonna fall, drop or anything, because if any of the thing that's electric touches the tin foil, you're gonna get a spark. And this is what you're gonna do, hold it, dip it in, hold it, it's gonna be amazing. It changes colors right before your eyes. Be awesome. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in here. Zoomed in. So I'm hooking up the positive now, okay, to the extra lead I had, right? So now, this little wire is energized. If I pump it in, I get a pretty cool spark at 15 volts DC, okay? Take my cleaned rooster cage, okay? Hooking it on, and I'm going to carefully dip it into the solution. Going halfway, let's see. Now this should be like a yellow color which it is becoming uh, you can kind of see how it's kind of like golden almost now which in this case if you don't dip in all the way what you can do is you can actually unclip it and flip it 
and do the other side if you don't want to even get anywhere close. And keep dipping it, but as long as the voltage is the same, you're going to get the same color, no matter what you do. Okay? So that's one end. If I do... There it is. Okay, the back side. That's it. You can see it's not staying in there very long. It doesn't take very long to do. Okay. Done. Disconnecting the power. Boom. Okay. Now you can see we got kind of like a, a cool gold. This is 15 volts DC compared to blue. Ooh. Kind of cool looking, huh? All right. So we're going to bump up the voltage. I'm going to zoom out and we'll, we'll get that process. That was one lipo. Let me set that aside just so we have it all aside. Okay. So, got one. Boom. So now I'm going to set this one up here. We're going to do two lipos now. Okay, so that's going to give us 30 volts DC. So, we'll take 30 volts because these already have 15. I've already checked it. What? You can always use a meter I did earlier. So, this is your negative. We're going to go to your negative. Okay. Now for the second lipo here, I'm going to use my little clips I have. Put it back in. Okay. So, we have negative to here. Positive, okay, so it's going to be negative, okay? We're going in the loop. So, it's always scary the first time because you don't know if you're going to get a spark or not. But as long as you go positive, negative, positive, negative, we're doubling the voltage of what's in here. And make sure they are the same. I bounced all these beforehand. Okay. Okay. So now these two are together. Okay. This is 30 volts. I'm going to connect my other lead for dipping. Okay. And we will this all aside and zoom on in again. All right, we're zoomed in, got two batteries. We have our now golden. Now, we're still wearing gloves. It's been on a clean towel. It is still clean, right? But if you are unsure, wipe it down again. It ain't gonna hurt it, okay? So, we do the same thing again. We're going to connect it. We're gonna dip it in. here all right check that out that's 30 volts okay let's see if we can see that okay so I left half out so you can see the difference between 15 the 30 okay that's 45 so you get some pretty cool looking colors here and this is all dry it off real quick this isn't like a heat treated kind of color it's kind of like a all one uniform Trying to show it without it getting too blurry. There you go. It's not like a heat treated blurple or fade or anything. Now, you can play around with dipping, uh, look up a splash anodizing or anything like that, and you get some kind of cool uh, techniques of like putting some Sharpie on it and dipping it and then wiping it off and then putting another layer on or splashing it with some nail polish. There's some different ways to do it. Um, I'm just sticking with one color because I think it's kind of cool to have this. And also, if you want it to go back, a little bit of elbow grease, polishing, painting. I'm, I'm sorry, painting. I'm polishing it up, sanding off. With, we'll take this right off. This is just a very thin, anodized layer on it. Okay? So, we'll dip this. Let's finish the job.
very slick. I actually kind of like the 30 volts myself. Should have done it this way first compared to the other one. This is like a lighter baby blue. It's like a kind of like a what you call it? like a silver bluish color to it. This one's like more of a deeper. And I'm pretty sure if you sat there and worked your lipos correctly, the correct voltage you wanted to, you can make it get a little darker. Um, there's purple in between this. So let's go one more. All right, so we're gonna go one more. I'm gonna disconnect that one. Okay, we've got two. We're gonna hook one more up. Remember, positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative. So negative goes here. We're gonna get this one that's gonna be up positive. So I'm gonna take this positive. I got one more little dinky lead thingy. It's gonna go to the negative. Now, okay, I'm gonna set that aside. Now I have my positive lead that's gonna go to the part. Okay, make sure it's all separated and safe. Set that there. Set that in, this will be our last dip. So we're gonna go from the dark blue now to the baby blue, writing, like I said, 15 more volts with these three lipos. Now, obviously you can change the voltage however you seek to get the desired color per chart, but we are just going to go with what we have. Okay, so I'm hooking, I'm dunking. Like I said, be careful, make sure you're not gonna touch any of the sides and just let it sit. Half and half. Ta da. We got the two. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, so you got your two pieces now. They're both anodized. As long as you follow these steps, you should be safe. You can obviously do this safer if you see fit by using an adjustable uh, voltage. Uh, make sure, like I said, when you're done, just connect everything because you are playing with electricity. Yep. Everything is safe. Good to go. Like I said, this is just dish soap water. Um, there's other methods, obviously, out there. This is the one I used. You saw how easy it was. You can change the voltage up by different power supplies, different lipos. Just make sure, like all battery and lipo safety, that you follow the standard rules. Everything needs to be the same voltage, and everything needs to be done safely without, obviously, shorting anything out. Um, till then. Good luck and keep flying.